I thought we had orange juice, Brendan. I'm sorry. How about some tang? No, that's more like soda, isn't it? Water's fine, ma'am. Thanks. Oh, wait a minute. We have apple juice here if you'd like that. Or we've got milk. But you're having that on your cornflakes. Apple juice sounds terrific. It's country style. That's perfect. And I'll even give it to you in a little country glass. How about that? Boys? I'm fine, Mrs. M. Thanks, ma'am. Hmm. OK. Well, I'm going to go uh, do something in the other room. So, how about we take another snap at hearing your tale? I don't know. It starts out same as before. This floor ain't carpeted. We're cool, dog. The muscles seem plenty cool putting his fist in my head. I want him out. Lucky soldier. The eight blows are I clam. So clam! What have you got that can't beat out of you back in the basement? Give us a few minutes, Tug. I'll call you if whatever. So? About a year ago, I had a small time dealing partnership with Jerry Madison, no? So he took the fall for you? Yeah. Well, I didn't ask him to, but he was a straight player, and I got out clean. Almost. Nothing on my official record, but the VPs play like I own one. And when I made it clear I wasn't going to be playing their hound dog, well, they didn't like it. They keep badgering me and calling me in. Gee, that's tough. I don't like being told whose side I'm on. So now they think I'm on your trail. I'm in a nice spot to know their movements. Feed them yours. I got you. You haven't got me yet. What? Price? Considering the benefits my services could yield, I don't think that's unreasonable. And what are your services exactly? So I can be specific on the invoice. Whatever serves your interests. Fair enough. I'll have my boys check your tail. And seeing how it stretches, we'll either rub or hire you. You'll know which by the end of the day tomorrow. We're done. I'll drive you back. Just drop me at school. How long was I out? Half an hour. Took all of it for me to cool the pin down. Thanks. You trust me now? Less now than when I didn't trust you before. Maybe if you can tell me your angle on all this, I could. Emily tried to get with Brad and I about three, three months, months ago. Three months ago, and you stonewalled her. Oh, all right. If you've already got the world's address. Three months ago. And I liked her, but she wasn't us, and it didn't work. And when she left, she took some souvenirs with her. Dirty habit she wasn't strong enough to control and a connection to the pen to keep him going. A few months pass, and the next I hear the pin's raging over a certain situation with the junk M's partial to. And it's all coming down on her head. Saying M scraped the junk off the pin? I don't care how hard she was hooked. I don't buy that. And you weren't there. She wasn't herself. It had dug deep. It was awful. And whether she scraped or copped or just ran her tab around the world and into her own back, it must have been grand. I've never seen the pin so hot. And when he thought his precious, his bricks of whatever it was, when one of them was missing, he scared me. Why are you tell me all this? What's your play? You think nobody sees you. 
Eating lunch behind the portables. Loving some girl like she's all there is anywhere to you. I always seen you. Or maybe I liked Emily. Maybe I see what you're trying to do for her. Trying to help her. And I don't know anybody who would do that for me. Now you are dangerous.